guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel you guys are the real og of course so if you're new here my name is lami and i make videos from boya the southwest region of cameroon if you're not new here you already know who i am you guys are welcome and please do not go anywhere in this video i'm actually going to show you guys how to cook fufu corn and the talif this is not kati kati if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. So see you guys in the video. Smoke is dealing with my eyes, you guys. So guys, this is a corn flour that has been sifted and has been set aside. What you guys see here is called kindi. And so my mother is removing the hot water that she had put on the fire. She's transferring it into a flask. That's what she's going to use in the course of preparing her fufu corn. And so this is a kende. She's going to add some warm water to it and transfer back into the pot. And she's just going to quickly stir it. She will stir it because this is the first process. She's just going to stir it continuously until it's kind of thick. And then she's going to cover the pot. And that's it for a while. a mixture of corn flour and cold water so now we are going to add it to the water substance on the fire the hot water cook until it's ready for like 30 minutes so guys this is my mother stirring religiously because she's going to add in the corn flour my sister is assisting her she's going to add in the corn flour now and as you can see she's adding one hand and then she's stirring with the other hand that's because we do not want school boys in our fufu corn. We do not want school boys, or do you? So, do you know how you do the pap mixture where you stir religiously? Yes, this is what happens at this point in time. You have to stir religiously. And for the part where I said school boys, school boys, <laughs> we use it to refer to um, lumps. So, we do not want lumps in our fufu corn. So, she has to just stir like that really just the So guys, after cooking it for about 30 to 45 minutes, you're going to stir it religiously. I'm emphasizing on religiously. You're not going to relent. You will turn it, you go turn them until it goes smooth. Yes, and that's because we don't want school boys. We don't want school boys. Imagine eating fufu corn and the slums. Say hey, baby, baby, back here, bro. Yeah, this is it. It's 
So my mother is a typical Northwest woman. Yes. Her both parents are from the Northwest. So she's explaining certain things to me and I'm grateful and that's it. She's giving me the difference between the red and the white corn, which one is is used in the village. So, do you guys remember the goosey that we dried on the pot? Well, this is the goosey that we have grind, and so my mother added some salt, some maggi, some pepper, and also she's adding in water in order to form a paste. You guys have to stir it religiously so the seasoning is going to distribute itself evenly. If not, it's going to be concentrated. I mean the seasoning, and you wouldn't want that. And so this is the part where she's transferring the goosey um, paste to the pot and she'll close the pot after that for it to cook properly. Guys, I'll emphasize on the fact that your goosey needs to cook properly. It really does. So that's it. Saturday. Okay. So come play. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredients, believe me. Better see with the negativity. But I just slide right by that energy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said no, man, I still go Go, 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 go
guys with regards to the corn flour that i got there's actually some process before getting to that result which includes you buying dried corn i'll include it here and you, you taking the dried corn to the grinding machine and then you request that they peel the corn for you yes and then they will grind it when you just take it there they will just grind it for you when you bring it back home you sieve the flour and then you set aside the flour the chaff you get is the kende but that's not all you add water to that kende that chaff and then now you're like straining it little by little in order to remove the dirt which is in the chaff do you understand yes that's the kende and the kende is what will go on the fire first before the corn flour and so that was the kende that my mother was mixing that's it that's what she put on the fire the fire first you guys saw it there i promise you i'm not crying see if you want to attain success make sure that your firewood is dry because ah, ah. 